Hello, and welcome to another episode of In the Studio. We're here today with Leslie Crenna of Waterwise Davis. Um, she's also the communications coordinator for Cool Davis. And we're here to talk about the Gray Water Showcase that's <coughs> upcoming uh, in July and what the gray water recycling is. So uh, could you tell us a little bit about that, Leslie? Absolutely, Alex. So gray water is discharge water from your washing machines mm -hmm. and from your showers and kitchen sink, uh, bathroom sinks. OK. <clears throat> and what is the recycling part of it? So typically, um, when you use water in your home, it goes to um, the sewer, and it goes to our wastewater treatment plant here in Davis. So. Um, Ideally, in an effort to reuse that water, because it, it is um, a useful resource, um, that water is redirected to your landscape, typically, and it can be used to water a um, you know, variety of plants in your, in your garden. OK. And so what is the, how does that process occur? Obviously, there's some equipment and things that there are is. used. There is. In fact, I brought um, one of the primary pieces of equipment that is used. Okay. This is called a three-way valve. It's typically used for pool and spa equipment, mm -hmm. but um, it's very useful for gray water. So the way that this um, valve is set right now, um, water actually either goes, it goes in here from your, uh, in this case, a laundry, um, okay. your laundry washer, and it can travel in here and then go out this way. Or if you move the handle there, the water can go in here and travel out this way. Okay, so you take the wastewater from your laundry or from your shower. That's right. Obviously, the things, uh, not the sewage from your toilet system or whatever. No, so in California, um, like I said, gray water is defined as water from your washer or mm -hmm. your uh, shower or your bathroom sinks. And kitchen water is, is defined as um, black water. So kitchen water cannot be used. Well, actually, water, it's considered so. light gray water, and then toilet is black water. Black water. OK. Yeah. And so um, does this water require any treatment, or does it just go straight out into your garden? Or So there are, there are different types of systems. The, mm -hmm. the simple and um, lowest tech system, you can um, discharge the water directly to the landscape without any filtering or pumps or anything like that. There also are um, higher tech systems where you can filter and pump um, the discharge water and use it for um, drip and spray, uh, spray irrigation after that, if, mm -hmm. if spray, if you do some um, UV treatment. But all of that adds um, a lot of expense and equipment, and then you sort of lose the, the benefit and the value of, of um, the resources that you put into the system. So we try to stick with um, and encourage people in Davis and everywhere to um, stick with those lower tech systems. OK. And are there any things that people should avoid putting in their drains and stuff absolutely. when they're doing this? Yeah, absolutely. So um, for a washing machine, there are special uh, detergents that are the main quality that you need to use for your laundry detergent is that it um, has no sodium in it or is very right. low in sodium because um, uh, you don't want to plants build up salt don't like salt. salt. It kills them. If you want to kill a plant, put some salt water on it. <laughs> and so a valve like this, say you did a load of whites and you're using all this bleach on it, you don't want the bleach going out in right. your Right. So no bleach, no um, oil or gas if you're, you know, you have rags or if you're working on your car, that kind of thing. You don't want to wash those and, and put that on your um, landscape. Um, you don't want to use chlorine bleach. There are other kinds of, um, I've heard of people talk about oxygen bleach. There's other, um, which is basically Types hydrogen, well, hydrogen peroxide is a really great stain remover and that's fine for the gray water system and for the garden. And that's why you'd want this <clears throat> valve so that when you have different types of loads, you can send some through yeah. the regular system and some So, out. So the point of the valve is um, to be code compliant and mm -hmm. um, for health purposes. So. Um, you can, uh, if the valve is set one direction, the water is going to the landscape, and if mm -hmm. the valve is set the other direction, it's going to the sewer. Mm -hmm. So you still have that ability, um, say there's flooding, which of course we had a lot of flooding this last season, mm -hmm. um, you have that ability to send the water to the sewer if you need to. Okay. Well, let's talk a little bit about this gray water showcase that uh, WaterWise has organized. Mm -hmm. um, when, let's see, well, let's start with when it's occurring. <laughs> OK, so we're having a gray water showcase at the Senior Center here in Davis on okay. July 12th, which is a Wednesday evening from 5.30 to 7.30. Um, okay. 
and uh, it is uh, sponsored by Waterwise Davis, which is um, now a working group of Cool Davis. Okay. And full disclosure, one of my other hats is communications coordinator for Cool Davis, so I, my, okay. my roles dovetail there nicely. Um, and uh, we're having, we have support from the city of Davis with this. Um, the city of Davis is providing us the facility and they're um, doing some, helping us do promotions and they're also sponsoring some um, door prizes. We're, we are going to be giving away um, two um, laundry gray water parts kits, which will be sort of the essential parts, including one of these <laughs> and some of the other parts that are challenging to get um, uh, just at the local hardware store. Okay, and uh, I know you have a sort of a big lineup of speakers. You have the the mayor pro tem Brett Lee coming. That's right. right? Well, who who else will be there uh, to provide information to people who are curious about gray water recycling? Yeah. So um, just to sort of go chronological through the program. Um, uh, Paul Haveman is uh, with UCD Land Management. He's going to be our master of ceremonies and okay. open up the event. Um, and then uh, Brett Lee, Mayor Pro Tem and Council Member, will be there to give some, some um, um, comments at the beginning. <clears throat> then uh, we're going to have a, um, a general um, short presentation that's just a general overview of, of gray water so that people can come who really are very new to the concept mm -hmm. and, and kind of come away, at least even from that part, having an idea of the general sense. There's two basic kinds of systems and what the parts are and what, what your design considerations are. Um, so that'll be a short segment. Then we're going to have a panel. And the panel is going to be system owners, people who have gray water systems at their home. Um, and they're going to um, basically introduce themselves and talk a little bit about um, you know, how they got their system and what, it what's it, what it's like to operate their system and how it's impacted their landscape and their water use. Okay. And then after the panel, we're having open tabling. So we're actually going to have open tabling at the beginning and at the end. And um, Greg Mahoney, who is the chief building officer for the city of Davis, will be available to ask code questions. Right. Um, and Don Calciono will also be available, who's our conservation coordinator for the city of Davis, who specializes in water. So okay. um, she can answer questions um, about water conservation in general. And um, we are also planning on having some, some vendors and providers of um, services around gray water. So um, mm -hmm. there'll be opportunities for that. And members of Waterwise Davis will be there um, to um, answer design questions. Um, some of our members are um, certified in gray water um, installation and design and um, are able to answer those kind of questions. And we're in the next month, we're putting together a little demo. So not a fully functioning system, but some, you know, just some props to help people get an idea of what the parts of the system are and how it works. Okay. And uh, I understand uh, Robin Waxman of Farm Davis will also be there to answer questions about maybe using this to irrigate your garden. So Robin Waxman has a laundry system out at Farm. Okay. So she'll be on our panel. And I've asked all the panelists to um, be available at those tabling periods also so that there'll be time for kind of downtime to chat one on one as well to okay. get an idea of you know, what's it like to have a system, you know, who put it in, how, how, well, what did it cost, how difficult was it, and how easy was it, and you know, are your trees really happy, what does your landscape look like. Okay, and uh, this is an open event, right? Anybody? Absolutely, can, open can to the attend. public, completely there's no free, cost, no right? cost whatsoever. In fact, there's some prizes, <laughs> so you yes, might yes, come yes. away with on the plus side. On the plus side. <laughs> okay, um, so that's where people can find out more about these systems. Now, um, I noticed on the website that uh, you recently posted a blog post about uh, why should people still be concerned about conserving water? We just had a winter that was a r record rainfall. Um, before that, we did have drought. So mm -hmm. why is conserving water and this still important? Right, so um, cool, the Cool Davis website has um, uh, uh, an event post about mm -hmm. um, the showcase, so you can right. go there to get information about the showcase. And it also has an article about water conservation. And honestly, there has been a little bit of a drop off in interest in conserving water and reusing water, which is, gray water is considered reuse mm -hmm. because of this flooding that we had this winter. But um, 
you know, according to scientists and um, our governor, who has um, uh, has issued um, um, quite a bit of um, legislation and a plan for water into the future, um, we need to start planning for cycles of drought and flood. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, our past five and six years have shown, obviously, that that is the case. That we had a five-year um, drought. drought, and then we had a year of flood. And um, so, you know, it, it 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 is a demotivator for folks when when there's so much water. But at the same time, um, we could be starting another drought this year. Another cycle of that's right. Of another cycle of drought. No water. And yes, the reservoirs are full. But long term, the state of California and Davis, in compliance with the state, is going mm -hmm. to be um, having restrictions in water use. Right. And what's really amazing about through the drought, we've used 11 million gallons of water a day in the city Even of Davis the before the drought. And when we cut back mm -hmm. uh, uh, in the low 30s was sort of our average over the period of the drought, we cut that to 9 million gallons just by people can, you know, converting their lawns, a few gray water systems, um, just you know, some better habits like you know, turning down when you run the water on your, on your sink. Just, you don't have to, to pull it full blast, just you know, on a little bit. And watering your lawns appropriately, only watering um, 10 minutes and then, and then cycling off and then 10 minutes. And um, those kinds of, of techniques Three million gallons of water we saved, and the even though there has been more water this past year, mm -hmm. uh, the state conservation regulations and the city of Davis are still going to be enforcing That's right. the water conservation regulations. So, so the state is working on um, long-term um, usage restrictions, basically, and and when those get formulated, um, Davis will be required to to implement them. Okay, mm -hmm. and um, we're getting close to the end, so let's wrap up by talking about what benefits someone can expect from installing these types of systems. So, so gray water is a little different from um, our regular water in that it has a little bit of nutrient in it, um, and it's it's slightly base in its pH, um, so uh, it. Uh, it's a great source for your landscape. Mm -hmm. It's a daily source because it's coming from showers and laundry, and typically, you, you know, you're going to be using that water on a, on a so regular basis. You save basis. on your water bill, I assume. You're going to save on your water bill, um, and you're going to, um, you know, use less water, obviously, which is mm -hmm. good for our environment and and the general restrictions, um, and um, you know. Outdoor watering is um, takes a huge quantity of water, and um, it, it, it really connects people with how much water we use. Because typically in the past, we have had this ethic of just blowing through water because it's free. It's it's so inexpensive, and the reality is it's not free, and it and it costs the city of Davis a good deal of money to provide that that right. well. They just um, spent millions on us. the surface water project. That's right. And and that comes back to us in taxes and other fees. And so we really are saving water not just on our bill, but on um, infrastructure you know, costs. Infrastructure for costs that water. in our community and, and it just builds our resilience as a community as well. Okay. Well um is there anything else you'd like to add? I know there's also still a, a rebate, I believe, if you convert your lawn to a more drought tolerant. That's so you right. Get, it uses less water to begin with. The state of California has an extremely um, generous um, uh, lawn turf conversion rebate, which is $2 per square foot. And even if you're paying for a landscape um, contractor to do you know, a typical, you know, not doing it right. yourself, paying someone fully to do it, um, that can that can cover almost half the cost. So it's very generous rebate. And yes, let's go to saveourwater.org and, and you can get that rebate. Okay. Anything yeah. else you'd like to add before we wrap it up? Come on down to the showcase. <laughs> it's it's going to be a good time. It's there's not going to be a lot of sitting around. There's going to be a lot of um, interaction one on one and talking and really getting to talk to people that have had you know have these systems at their home. They know what they're like and they understand the benefits. Um, and uh, 
and you might get a free gray water kit for your laundry system. Okay, well, thank you very much, Leslie. All right. Thanks, Alex. That wraps up another episode of In the Studio. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time.